right. All right. Now, Mason, here at the show, we say trailers are high and then a noise. Uh, it's and an look, it's a um, chip's on. Yeah. Chip comes in, yeah. Comes into port. Um, <laughs> and then we're like, you can go now. We only needed the noise. Yeah. We don't have any cargo <laughs> or payment. <laughs> but we've circumnavigated the globe. We've come from the Arctic. Um, the men are starving. And we're like, yeah, but we, yeah, we just needed the we sound. We just wanted clip. the sound. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you put it on a recording device? No, no. we don't have to play it off our phone or something. So how do you even know what that is? You're from olden <laughs> times. <laughs> so, uh, so we could talk about in terms of trailers, there's a new Amazon Lord of the Rings trailer. I didn't which people see are it. like, wow, look at this epic scope and scale, people okay. are saying. We could talk about Jamie Foxx's vampire hunting pool cleaner movie for uh, Netflix. Oh, yeah, I did see the trailer. For yeah, that. where he's like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing I Am Legend, but I'm also a pool cleaner. I'm going into houses like I Am Legend, more so the book than the movie, though. Mm. Uh, we could talk about Owen Wilson is Iron Man and also Spy Kids, the movie. What? Did you see that? Nope. It's like an Amazon movie where he's got an Iron Man suit and then kids find his stuff and they go, my dad's a superhero. We're like Spy Kids as well. We love this. Huh. Yeah. It feels, like, it feels like, a, like a Disney Channel kind of movie. It's got that bit of that vibe. Okay, yeah. A little bit of, um, what's that one? Greatest American Hero. Yeah, but it's more like an Iron man kind of situation. I He's see. not in a little spandex. But yeah, great, uh, mm. great work. Mason. I think if they did remake that, and they've always been threatening to remake Greatest American Hero. That's he, true. It would be an Iron Man suit, I think. You reckon? Mm. I want to go silly spandex. Uh, yeah, but I reckon they – I don't think they would be willing to commit. I think absolute best case scenario, they would do like modern-day Man of Steel Superman suit. Like it would be the oh, textured okay. robbery yeah, right. kind of suit. But what if you got like a dude like they did back in the day, no disrespect to this guy, but here I go. You get like a man with like a concave chest and put him in, <laughs> and put him in a suit like Thighs that. Thighs rubbing together. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. You know? Constantly wearing through the thighs yeah, of the suit. something yeah. like that, you yeah. know? I, yeah, but I don't think they would. I don't think, they, I don't think they'd, they'd willing. I mean, it willing. was a comedy though, I know, right? but I'm not sure they would be willing to commit to superhero fans tuning in week in, week out to look at, you know, a man that looks like us, quite frankly. <laughs> Do you think people would be like, when is he getting the suit? And they'd yeah. be like, never. This oh. is the suit. Oh, I When's thought he you... get his suit upgrade? He doesn't. He wears through this one. I thought you were going to say, like, if, if, the, if, my, if the greatest American, I keep confusing with my secret identity, yeah. but if they did the greatest American hero reboot these days, even though it's a show entirely based around him, having wacky adventures wearing the suit, he wouldn't get the suit till like, the last episode of the season. It'd just be him thinking about acquiring the suit. <laughs> or not knowing about it? Yeah, not, maybe not yeah, knowing about like, the suit. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Credits. See you next se- season. Cancelled. Cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but, of course, what we're really going to talk about is Rob Zombie's new movie, The Monsters, mm. which is a reboot uh, of, I assume, um, I can't tell, really, of the yeah. of the sixty series, yeah, fifty. I honestly don't know. Yeah. We should have done some research, but I guess there seems to be uh, a significant enough overlap between metal fan, metal fans, and horror fans. That yep. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. then also via that, there's been some sort of bleed through. I guess because you you like horror movies, and then. The Monsters is kind of a loving homage to those, and yeah. so if you're all, you're a metal fan, you also love the Monsters, and Rob Zombie loves the Monsters, he love the and monsters. he's gone. There's enough in this for uh, for a movie in the year 2022. I mean, people are like, "This looks terrible. Everything about this looks terrible. It Go looks on. cheap and weird, and like flatly lit." And I don't yeah. understand why you've done this. Uh-huh. This is entirely intentional. I think obviously. so. Yes. Like, because he's made movies that. So don't nothing. look like this, yes. <laughs> yes. I like it in the, up the top how he's like, Rob Zombie, the, you know, the director of Halloween. Which one? Not not the <laughs> no, the one in the middle that everybody forgot about. Not the one, not the not the heritage the one. Two thousand and seven uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the Jamie Lee Curtis one. I haven't I haven't actually seen his Unless version. Unless she's of in that version. No. Okay, right. Yeah. So it should be from the director of none of the Jamie Lee Curtis Halloween. Sorry. <laughs> Tyler Maine is uh, Jason, though. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, when you say Jason. The other guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he do. The Jason type. Yeah. You think yeah. he's not because the 2007 he's called yeah. Mickey. He's like Mickey. Mickey. Uh, Mickey. The, um, what are you doing, Mickey? Okay. In the, you know, in the audition, they're like, we want a Jason type. Yeah. And then Jason auditions and he doesn't get it. I'm like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, they made a sequel to that as well. But again, I haven't seen it. Uh, right. Oh, Malcolm McDowell is Loomis. That's that's good casting. Agreed. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't seen it. But it, so, yeah. So, 
you, what is the Muss? Do you want to explain to people like what it is? Oh, really? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I understand. It's the Adams Family, but they're yes. like a collection of classic horror movie monsters yes. that live together. Who some... came first? The, the Adams Family came first. I was going right? to ask you because I thought you knew that, but I don't I know if that's I think necessary. maybe the, uh, there was an Adams Family comic strip before there was an Adams Family TV series. Okay, right. But Adams Family is the one I think that people remember more because it had the movies. But like I also Tim... think yeah. that we are maybe biased. I think Australia got more Adams Family content than it did Munster's content. We did get oh, both. Yes, that's But I think we true. fondly remember the Adams Family because it was on like every day, yeah. like after school or something. And M- Americans, I think, are more inclined to remember fondly the Munsters. Okay, right. It was also, it was also I think, because they were in black and white originally and then there was like a fairly modern day – TV version that was in colour, like a present. It was called The Monsters Today, maybe? The Monsters Now. Whoa. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, the uh, The Adams Family was released in 1964. Okay. The Monsters was released in 1964. The Adams Family started... <laughs> when Uncle Fester farted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Et cetera. It's, it's the yeah. same board, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I set you up for that. <laughs> intentionally. Yeah, right, uh, right, right. That was really started. I can't up. believe you set me up intentionally. Yes. Okay. <laughs> on September 18th, 1964. Okay. The Munsters started on September 24th, 1964. Wow, so the Adams family pipped them by like a week. Yeah, right? but, wow. Yeah, there you go. Parallel thought? Maybe. I don't know. No, it must have been. It must have been. I reckon it was okay because there would have been tons of monster movies at, at the movies. Yeah. You would imagine. And then... The creators of the monsters went. Let's do the classic monsters, yeah, because they're out of copyright. And I imagine the creators of the Adams family went, "Oh well, we, there's this Adams family thing. Yes. We could do that as a little little twist on the genre." It also seems as if yeah, the monsters started in 1943 as a series of cartoons. So the monsters go. did anyway. Why are we talking the about monsters? Them? Did or the, the Adams family? The monsters. When did the Adams family start? Uh, I think when the series started, I believe. Oh, I feel like there were like maybe even single panel comics of the, right. of the Adams family. I'll quickly look it up. I didn't see But anyone. I like the Adams Family more, if I may. I was, yeah, me too. Uh, actually, yeah. So, no, they started in 1938 oh. as, a, as a comic book uh, in The New Yorker. So, yeah, you are absolutely right. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I just think, like, it, it's – I think, like, Morticia and Gomez are more mm. – I, I feel like they're more – they're a more interesting couple. Yeah, I agree. You know? Than whoever the couple is in the <laughs> other one. It's um, Herman, who's a Frankenstein. Yep. And Lily, who's a – Vampire Elvira type vampire lady, With a big a, lightning yeah, hand. I think lady, so. Lady Frankenstein. Maybe she's a Lady Frankenstein. That's great. Anyways, I won't watch this. But anyway, <laughs> I just, will I? Absolutely yeah. not. Let's talk about no. something else. Is there anybody famous in it? Is the, is the Herman Munster some somebody? Who knows, Mason? Yeah. Maybe we should have researched this thing we don't care about. That's true. Got to. I start now. Oh, you're right. Well, I, I do research. I've researched. No, I know you do. I just didn't think we'd get stuck on this for so long. I thought we'd go. Ha! Ah, this looks bad. Why did he do this? Next. <laughs> Anyways, Mason. Why did he do it, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think he just loves the monsters. I think that's... Yeah, I yeah. guess he does. Yeah. And now he's, he's in a position where he can do his own version I of the think monsters. If he had have done, I think if, if it was black and white, people would have a different opinion of it. Yeah. Because it wouldn't look so, like, garish and flat. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me at all, though, if... It, remember we talked briefly, we saw some set photos. There was a, it was Nicolas Cage as some sort of vampire. He's got an upcoming vampire. Oh, yeah, it's movie, a Renfield. Renfield movie, that, yeah. And he looks, the colouring is quite odd because it's being filmed for black and white. Yeah. It wouldn't shock me if this movie has been like lit and set up and done makeup done for black and white and like there's a black and white option. Okay. Like if you want to watch it in black and white, you can, you can yell switch at, it. Yell switch. at your projectionist. Yes, yell at projectionist. We want to watch the black and white one. <laughs> is anybody in there or is that like... This is all digital now. Who am I talking to? 